I'm now going to show you how you can use MailPoet with Optimize Press. So you can create your landing pages and your forms inside Optimize Press and you can connect that to MailPoet. Now some of you may not know MailPoet is a completely free email collection service for WordPress and it's a plugin and you can use it to build your own email database or your own mail list. They do have a premium version but you can actually do everything using the free version of MailPoet. So what we do is we go into our dashboard and we want to go to plugins. Now I have, I have already installed it on this site but I'm going to show you anyway. So we go to plugins, the process and we're going to add new and we're going to type in MailPoet. And from here we'll bring up MailPoet and you can see here I've already got it in installed. This is MailPoet newsletters and it looks like that. There you go. So it's already installed. Um, there is a warning just now has come out since WordPress have just updated again. So this now says WordPress has not been tested, but it's still working at the moment. I'm sure the guys will get around to updating the MailPoet plugin at some point, but it is fine. It's working as it is at the moment. So just be aware, look out for updates that should be coming pretty soon on that. So what you do is you would, from here you would install or you go to this page and you click on install now and you can see it's already installed here. And the page afterwards will ask you then to activate it. And once you click activate, you'll then see inside, you go to the Optimize Press dashboard. And if you go from here, email marketing services, scroll down and you'll see MailPoet towards the bottom in the M's and it'll show you that MailPoet is now installed. Now, so from here we go to, you've got the MailPoet link here. If we go to that and you have, uh, inside MailPoet you have your newsletters, you have your subscribers and then you have the sort of overall general settings. So what we're going to do, we want to create a new list for our site. So if I go to um, subscribers here and across the top I'm going to create add list and I'll give this list a name call it Dave's tips for now and marketing tips and I click add list obviously the description is optional we don't have to put the description in if you don't want to we've got Dave's tips now you can see it here and from here we can choose obviously to edit our list. You can only edit the name and the description or you can go back and you know you can obviously duplicate your list if you want to. So once you've created your list it'll now be ready for you to connect your opt-in forms to that particular list. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to all pages and I'm going to bring up a landing page and I'm going to bring up the live editor here for this page and you can see this was a recent clubhouse template that we had. I've already got the landing page there. So I'm going to open up my opt-in form. And inside here, I'm going to from the drop down, I'm going to choose Mail Poet because that's the you know the plugin that we're using. And we've got our list that we've created. We have three lists. We obviously had some test ones in here. Here's one I've just created called Dave's Tips. You can see it's pre-selected there. This is where we put a thank you URL page if you wanted to put that one put one in place. And next thing we could do, we could um, change the order. We've got name required here, so we could put names at zero, that's fine. Email is first. Then from here we click insert, then we'll click update, and then we'll save and close this page. We now know that our landing page, if I open it in another tab there, our landing page is now connected here. This form is connected to MailPoet inside the WordPress admin. So what we can do, we could opt into this if we wanted to. We could put in, you know, our email would opt in to the list here. And once someone's opted in, I'll actually I'll try it. But I possibly think I'm already in this list, but I'll just try it anyway. Let's click get started. Um, you notice I didn't actually have a thank you page in so that we're not going to see a thank you page right now but we've opted in. So what should happen if we go over now to my mail poet again we go to subscribers you can see there there I am I've just been added we've got David Optimized Press and we've got added to David Tips. Now I was already subscribed to this site inside WordPress users because obviously I'm down as a user on the list so I was already in this site I wasn't sure but I thought I had a different email, but that's fine. You can see here I've been added to this list called David Tips. 
So that's really the simple process. You just get the plugin, get the landing page, and you connect it in. So you create the list, then you go to your landing page um, that you've chosen, and you connect the opt-in form to the list. And you can obviously create a thank you page and do more with it. The next thing you can do inside here, which is really neat, is actually send out your emails from inside MailPoet as well. You see we've got two written here. I can just cr click Create New Email at the top, and I can choose Standard Letter, and I can just write in here Dave's Tips. And you can choose the list where it's going to. So I could choose Dave Tips from here. And then I click Next Step. And you can see you've got Standard or Automatic Newsletter. Um, I didn't test Automatic, but I'm pretty sure this also works when someone opts in. So look, you can change it to when someone subscribes to your list. So this would be good for an autoresponder. You know, you could say welcome to you know, your email, or you could be, hope you got the download, didn't get a chance to get the download, here's the link. So you could put something like that inside this email. And then I'm going to choose standard, sorry, for now, but you can see the settings here. You can choose when it's set and stuff. So it's pretty straightforward. I'll choose standard. I go next step. And then from here, this is how our newsletter is going to look at the moment. And you can see we've got various things here we can drag and drop over, like WordPress posts. So obviously this will show the latest WordPress posts inside the newsletter. You can obviously pick and choose them. I'm not going to go too much into this. You can, you know, you can look, adjust images. You can change the font styles and the themes. And you've got add more themes here. There is a premium version of um, MailPoet as well. So you can obviously get more advanced themes. They've got themes and things in here. And you can just sort of click through here and you can choose to edit the contents. You click and it activates and you could, you know, type something in here and write out your newsletter and this is pretty much how it's going to look when it arrives in the inbox so whatever you see on this page here is how it's going to look at the bottom of here you can send a test to yourself for another chosen email but that's really it so once you've done this you would scroll to the bottom and click next step and this is the final step so the subject line it's doing a test of everything it's bringing up some email addresses and things and then you can either schedule it to go out or you can send right away, or you can save it as a draft. Scheduling will allow you to schedule it you know, ahead of time, and then all we can do is you can just click on, well, actually, I'll turn schedule off, and I'll click send. You're about to send this newsletter. Please confirm, and away it goes. And it tells me the time remaining, and you know it's going out. I think the time remaining is actually for um, like a short delay. Also, if you had a bigger list, it might be... Because it's working off your server, so it's using your server... You know to send this email out so it's using all the php stuff inside your server so different servers might delay and be a bit slower at sending out from here that's pretty much it you've seen me there create a you know a newsletter fair enough the newsletters are quite you know basic that one i had didn't look you know too pretty you can obviously make them look much nicer than that um inside here there's also a settings page and you've got your sort of master settings here, all the different global settings, things like the text used for the unsubscribe link, you know, unsubscribe page. Um, you could obviously create your own page as well if you want to preview. This is the Mail Poet page, okay? So you can obviously create your own one. Uh, we've got things like the forms. If you want to create other mail forms, you can use on the site. So if you're using them on the blog, no need for this, obviously, because you're using Optimized Press, so it creates the forms for you. We've got the sign up confirmation. So this is if you want to have confirm your email when you sign up. Um, send with. This is the send with, like if it's going to use your own service or a third party SMTP provider. So you can use someone else's server sort of to send your emails out. That's getting technical. I'm not going to go into all that kind of stuff. Leave it as default if you do use it. Leave PHP mail. It's the most common one used on most shared hosting platforms. Um, that's pretty much it. You've then got advanced settings. So you can choose who can actually send out and the roles and permissions for people on your WordPress site. And all the other general settings here, you've got bounce emails, uh, HTML, various things to look through. And then there's all the different add-ons as well that work with MailPoet. So it's a great little plugin, actually. It's really good for people who um, you know, want to get an email list started quickly and are really on a minimal budget and cannot even afford the likes of another platform. So, you know, if someone who's starting from scratch 
and doesn't even want to spend any money initially, something like this you can use to build leads and actually start emailing out people, you know, regularly. So it's a great little plugin. It's um, you know, it's there inside the plugin dashboard. You saw how easy it was for me to go and install. And you can be up and running, connected to your optimized press landing pages, and you'll be collecting your email leads today, pretty much. So good luck with it. Would love to hear if you guys are using it. Also, love seeing your templates if you've made sort of custom templates and things for MailPoet. But there it is, all ready for you to use. You have no excuse now to go and start building your own leads for your website.